Hello, I'm Sandy Potter. I'm Michael L, and welcome to Ageless Living. Well, Michael, it's no secret that for many of us, our lives are a little bit different these days, and many of us are looking for new ways to stay active and relieve some stress. Absolutely, and you know, that's exactly the idea behind the practice of yoga and why so many people turn to it. Absolutely, and we're very fortunate at the Sonic Care at Ashler Village. We have a wonderful yoga instructor, Brianne, who comes in normally to work with our residents there. And lately, she's been very creative finding new ways to reach out to folks about the benefits of yoga, even doing some Facebook Live things for kids who are now staying at home. Here's our conversation about the benefits of yoga at any age. The foundation of yoga, that's really what we're trying to start with is, what is yoga? Uh, and really, yoga is a Sanskrit word that means union of mind, body, and spirit. And uh, yoga is a practice. This is a practice that's five to 10,000 years old. And so we might think of it as our form of exercise in the US, or we might think of it as stretching, but really that, remember the word means union of body, mind, and spirit. And we're going from the body, and the more we bring health and wellness and balance to the body, the mind follows and the mind finds wellness, steadiness, and then really the practice is being able to sit comfortably with yourself and to be with yourself in all that's going on. We're not trying to cultivate good thoughts. We're not trying to push away negativity, but we're trying to sit present with what is right now. Right. And so many people have talked about the benefits that they've found when they started to practice yoga. What are some of the health benefits that you find the most often? Um, I think in modern day, a huge benefit that people find instantly, myself included, is decreasing stress and helping with mental uh, situations such as anxiety and depression. Um, we know just if we take stress on its own and how that affects other ailments, stress causes or exacerbates over 70% of our conditions. So again, stress causes or exacerbates over 70% of our conditions. So if we can decrease our stress, we will help every system of the body. Our perception of pain goes down. So if we're dealing with uh, painful joints, bursitis, arthritis, even just our perception of that pain will decrease. If we're dealing with high blood pressure, if we're dealing with anxiety, decreasing your stress will support those conditions. Anything, yoga works every system of the body. Whether we're working on realigning the skeletal system or helping our immune system, which is definitely important during cold and flu season, Yoga will support strengthening the systems that need to work harder and decreasing ailments that are inflamed or exacerbated. Yeah, it's so beneficial. It's very adaptable too. It seems to be something that, you know, you do it with our residents at Ashler Village who absolutely look forward to it every week. And lately you've been doing it for kids with your own children. Um, so is it really adaptable at any age and how do people get started? The first step is just to do it, right? We can come up with our laundry list of reasons why it's not for us. I've heard everyone say, I'm not tall enough, my arms are too short enough, I'm too heavy, I'm not flexible. We don't do yoga because we're perfect at it. We do yoga to get better at the things we need. And it is for any age. As you said, I can lead a class for parents with new babies. I can lead a class for seniors. Uh, as you write at Ashler Village, um, some of my oldest students, but not my, all my oldest, I do other classes in Waterbury as well. And uh, kids benefit, kids benefit because in today's world, they have so much more stress than I think many of us had. Maybe not all of us, but many of us had. And uh, re remember, yoga works to every system. So if the residents need to stretch out, it's gonna help you. If you need to decrease your stress, it will help you. All you have to do is show up. That's it. How do you start? You show up. 
And yoga is not a competitive practice. And really, it's an honest practice where you know if you can go a little further into something. You know if you really shouldn't do something. And so you show up with whatever is present in your body and mind that day, and you do your truest, most honest effort, and that's it. Yeah, it's beautiful, and it really is adaptable. If you're not able to stand and do some of the poses, then you always give people alternatives to use a chair or something to support them, things like that. Absolutely. I worked with a woman for many, many years who was wheelchair bound and paralyzed from the waist down. And I worked with her, with her condition, uh, just as she as she is. And I worked with many people who are wheelchair bound that we still can do a practice. Um, I've also worked, you know, just with acute situations. People have, a, have had a surgery and we can always accommodate whatever is going on whether it's a chronic situation and then we learn how to deal with it weekly or an acute situation that I can always give modifications uh, to deal with it short term. That's wonderful. Well, Bree, thank you so much for your time today, for all your insight, for everything you do for our residents. And uh, we really appreciate, we look forward to having you back in the future to talk more about this. I look forward to it too. And I certainly miss everyone over there at Ashler Village and can't wait to get back when we have a chance. Yes, I know they feel the same, and thank you so much. Thanks so much. Namaste. And now, let's take a look at what's happening around Masana Care. We're so grateful to be able to connect family members with their loved ones for virtual technology visits. This is Lisa, who was able to visit with her mother, a resident at Masana Care Health Center, via video chat. Lisa said she was thrilled for the opportunity to spend precious time with her mom and expressed kudos to the staff who made it happen during this extremely busy time. Our Quinnipiac University students and residents who have been living at Masonic Care at Ashler Village Assisted Living are crafting beautiful handmade cards for their neighbors. Along with their letters, they deliver packets of puzzles and helpful information of things to do during this uniquely challenging time. We are all about creating exceptional experiences for our residents, and that includes adapting to whatever situation we're dealing with. Our team at Masonic Care at Mystic is getting creative with activity cards that include word games and daily trivia questions for residents and staff. And trivia winners earn prizes daily. Members of the Ashler Village Crafters Group, as well as staff and volunteers from our home health branches, have been gathering to sew masks to be used by Masonic Care healthcare professionals and frontline staff. Thank you for volunteering your time and talent to help our hardworking team members. The children and teachers from the Masonic Child Development Center have been sending along beautiful works of art to help brighten the days of the residents whom they affectionately call their grandmas and grandpas. The Masonic Care at Ashler Village dining staff is keeping spirits high as the residents enjoy the new social distancing lounge, complete with takeout meals and complimentary wine. And we absolutely love this message sent to us by staff who came together to remind us, we are in this together. Finally, our Masonic Care's community services team is here for you with messages of hope and inspiration. Beginning on Monday, March 30th, if you're looking for someone to talk to, you can schedule a time to speak to a counselor or spiritual advisor by calling our helpline at 888-679-9997. Thanks so much for joining us for this virtual edition of Ageless Living. We look forward to bringing you more stories of living well as we take this journey together. And remember, until next time, stay well and be ageless. Bye.